Hi, I'm Jeff Giant. You must be Chris. Hey, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice yes, meet I you. am. You are stuck with me for a week. Are you ready for me? Oh, are, <laughs> are you ready? I am. Well, I tell you, I hope you're ready for some excitement because we're at the R&K Ranch out in Utah. Practice is everything. And the confidence that you get before you go out into the field makes all the difference in the world. Shoot a few times to make sure everything is, didn't get knocked out of whack and you'll be ready for your hunt. Four options if you want to take western big game hunts. Do it yourself on public lands. Know somebody who owns private land. Lease your own hunting ground or go through a highly reputable outfitter like my wife Chris did for an archery bow hunt with her friends in Utah at the RK Hunting Company. <laughs> R and K ranches, you're already on the elk for me. We, we got watching some, them. We, we know where some elk are. They're just starting that pre-rut. You know, it's early in the rut, but it's mm -hmm. they're so hot elk. We should be able to see them in the first thing in the morning. Oh, well, perfect. So, here, let me get that for you. Okay. I can rough count about 30. The bigger bulls is going to be with the herd of cows. Right now, there's not a lot of talking. When they're going to bed, is when they're trying to start. Their main goal is the same place. They want to be on the back side of this so they don't care. Well, what we're going to do is just wait and see which side they go to, and then we're going to try to get off in front of them. We should know here pretty quick. I'd imagine they're going to be ahead of them once that sun starts. Boy, I'll tell you, what a way to start an opening morning at the RK Ranch. I mean, a herd of nice elk, a few really good bulls. And let me tell you, we're going to go after those bulls. You have to put your time in. I mean, you just don't jump out of the vehicle and take off after them. You gotta really study them. The last thing you wanna do is end up in their bedding area. Well, they're coming. When we hear them coming, if it's cows, we're just gonna kinda kneel down and just try to let them keep funneling to where we can hopefully get a bull shot here. As long as you keep your head down and not look, with the wind in our favor, we should be okay. They were out feeding this morning out in the alfalfa field, down low. And then once the sun comes up over the top, they start heading up to go to their beds. Right there. That's a, that's a good ball. It's like a five by one. It's a good size. Yeah, I think it's six. I think right now we'll just hang back. That way we don't miss. Yeah. Or they don't know we're here. We know where they're at. So we're going to see where they they had been bedding, and because they're going to start heading back to that alfalfa field to start feeding. So that's how we're doing our hunt. because then you can see both sides of that ridge. Yeah. You know, that we thought they, they went over and they obviously did not, so. Yeah, so now we kind of know they're. Right, they're there. That's where they're staying. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's okay. do it.
Okay, continuing now with Chris's Utah bow hunt. A huge benefit of the RK Hunting Company, which can't happen on any do it yourself hunt, is the opportunity to hunt your animal by any legal method. So, 90 degree weather, pre rut bulls generally unresponsive to calls, not one close range opportunity after days, and one final day to hunt. When her guide highly recommended switching to a rifle, though Chris had set her goals of taking a bull with her bow, no way did she disagree with his logic. And when you love all methods of hunting like Chris does, the decision was really a no-brainer. We just seen a five and a six by six bull up here. She's an odd cow. And it's pretty far away, so we're gonna see if we can sit here and, and be able to see him and get in up closer to him and, and take him down. But if you can still get that area. When that first cow come through, she actually had us pinned down. She was looking at us, so we were pretty much frozen. We couldn't move. And she actually watched us for, I think, like five, ten minutes. Um, finally, she started eating, and almost instantly when she started eating, we seen the other cow come back down. But we was able to reposition the gun. Chris, there's the ball. It's right behind that cow. Thank you so much for helping. Hey. Oh my God. This is an amazing bow. Beautiful shot. It should be here any place. Well, we got a little blood. We gave him the time to expire. I think we just keep following his tracks. This blood trail. I'm confident he's going to be right here. Yeah, it's so warm. You know, you have to find him. Hello. You have to. I called a few guys that are gonna come over, help us. If we don't find him, if we do, they're gonna help guide us, get us out. We should be we should be okay that way. Maybe look high, low, in between and I'm not just very, very little blood. Where could we Chris, there it is. We got oh, him. Yo, yeah! It is him! Oh my god! Thank you so much. Oh my God, let me take a look. At, you don't get much time to look at them when you're looking through a scope. Holy. Now if I could swear on TV, I would be swearing right now. What an awesome hunt. Look at his, look at his horn. Tips of his horns. Pretty bull. I can't even get my hands around all these bases here. Oh, man, is, is babe gonna be jealous? <laughs> Oh, he's huge! One, two, three. This is awesome. Well, we better get to work. Up over the top of the ridge, back to our right, we could see uh, three bucks. 
And so very calmly we got out and got set up. He's like, do you like it? And I think that's really important that he asks you if it's something you feel comfortable taking. And I was. I thought, you know, this is a really good buck. This is a good opportunity. He's in close range. He's not going anywhere. He's just standing there looking at us. So we were able to calmly get out, set up the sticks, move to where we needed to move, and take the shot we needed to take. It was about a 138-yard shot on this buck and killed him in one shot. Shiner's Moose has been on my bucket list for about 10 years. She's getting ready, stand, get ready. 264 yards. Okay, I'm gonna take him. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's dying, he's, di he's dead. There ain't no way, he's dead, he's gone. Trust me. You won't need to put another one in him, that was a Bullseye heart shot, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! A gyrus moose, die, God. Oh, man. And he looks like a really good animal. He does, he's a nice bull. <sighs> and that was the best quartering shot. I mean, that was a hard quarter. You put that right behind his shoulder, probably in line with his middle ribs, and I guarantee you bullseye his pumper because it was. That's what I aim for. This is a, a 10 year bucket list fulfilled here. I open today speaking of options hunters have for adventures out west or any place one chooses to hunt far away from home. Now trust me, I've done many a do it yourself or hunts in my life on public lands, but for many reasons I don't much anymore, at least not for big game. And Chris's elk hunt with the RK Hunting Company is a perfect example of why. Hey, just look where she stayed while experiencing her hunt and all of the rest that goes into a scenic visit to Utah. Food and the comms? She received the best of both, so all Chris needed to do was focus on her hunt. Now, as for the quality of hunting at r &K or other top-notch outfitters, we're talking totally private land where no other hunters will spoil your game plans. Professional guides who scout continually no local game movements, and the lay of the land like the backs of their hands. And total attention to your game after the harvest. We get the animal off the mountain, um, we get it all cleaned up, quartered, get it to the butcher, we take care of it however the client wants. Really, we, we are at their disposal. We do kind of whatever they need us to do. When her bow hunt showed not a single sign of panning out, r &K was able to offer Chris the option of switching to a rifle hunt. It is a great opportunity for the hunter, because if you want to try with an archery muzzleloader, we have that chance, but like now, if we have that weird weather pattern and the elk ain't talking, we can still come in with the rifle and we can still have a great hunt. That's huge! Because of it, she came away from Utah beaming with the thrills of success versus the agony of defeat. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. The guides are top notch, number one in my book. Every one of the guides do their homework before you even arrive. And they work their tails off to make sure that you have a great hunt. Oh, and think about this too. Even if one doesn't go hunting through an outfitter, he or she still incur the costs and or hassles of getting there license fees, meals and rooms, and game processing, to list only a few. I mean, in the end, how much does a person really save? And more importantly, which option provides the best odds for hunting success and a perfect overall experience? Well, I just talked to JW. We got six bulls out of the 900 tag field. Six out of nine? Six out of nine. Oh, Two days. Man. Well, I think I'm all packed up. I think I'm ready to go. Okay. Well, it's been a great hunt. Oh, honey, thank you so very, very much. I sure appreciate all your help and everything that you've done. And I mean, you just made the hunt even more special. It's been fun. It's Thanks, been fun. honey. Back to Brainerd, I'll go. <laughs> well, now there you have it. Another great hunt at R&K Ranches. Now, let me tell you, if you're planning on going on any kind of an elk hunt, I would highly recommend checking out R&K first. I mean, this is top notch. You bring your whole family out here to experience the fun, the outdoors, and 
just to see all the animals because there's lots of them here. The guides are from here. We're all from this valley. We grew up here hunting this valley, so we, we know this area really well. To each his own, but these are just some of the reasons my family and I have settled on Outfitters, the R&K Hunting Company exclusively. Whenever we're in the States, they operate facilities. I know some dyed-in-the-wool do-it-yourselfers and hunters who own land or lease their land, and they scoff at the notion of guided hunts and outfitters doing all the work. I own land myself, and we take care of that, but each to their own. I just personally call BS on that kind of thinking that that's all everybody should do. I love nothing more than hunting locally totally on my own ranch, but for those far away hunts, I've learned the hard way that for me and mine, and the fact that we're producing television, the best option now always includes a reputable outfitter in case you want to go there too. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, everybody, hey, good hunting.